Eric bumped one out of the old pond. It broke west. May have gone to the back side of the pond. Or maybe even wider. We don't know, but we'll, we'll this see. This is uh, Greg Stewart's idea of uh, working hard and driving deer. And, and it's, it's, you know, the payoff is at the end. Yeah, look, look, at, he's, got, he's got his coffee and his binoculars and right. no gun. Right. That's really effective. That's right. There's uh, Eric Sexton re-energizing with the guanola bar. Yeah, I'm just uh, hanging with all these monkeys. Rock on. Tartan Outdoors, a.k.a. Um, Greg's friends, Gary's friends, that hunt with Greg out of compassion. Signing out for now. Uh, 1045 we're driving the the Y what we call the Y Gary and I are posting and Q and Eric are walking the wind has shifted today it's out of the northeast real slight breeze not much but sunny not a barely a cloud in the sky put my camera way too soon they'll bust it out probably 75 yards from us. All right, so Q and Eric were driving and they, they busted a, a small buck. Well, t tell us about it, Q, what happened? Where was it? Uh, it was about 40 yards out in front of me. My first shot was right at Stewart and Pugsley, so I decided not to take it. Second shot, he was too far out and he got away. Where was it running? Stewart two, Stewart one area. But uh, in the drive? Oh, where in the drive, he was running, let's see, north, east. Was he running in the creek bottom? Oh, uh, yeah, we pushed him out of the creek bottom. So okay. he's, there's sign all in there for that creek bottom. <laughs> <laughs> this is why you go hunting with friends. Right. <laughs> so we learned a valuable uh, YouTube video lesson, lesson on that one, too. Um, figured the guys were... You know 40 50 yards away didn't think there would be anything that would jump out in between us and them and that's when the buck jumped out never put your camera away <laughs> mistake mistake one <laughs> about three o'clock Saturday we split up we're gonna try sitting even though these properties really aren't that good for that but we don't have much less luck with the drives so Q is sitting behind a farmer's house Gary's got a spot that's close by too on that same property Eric is over by the pond and I'm over on one of my family's property um, shows you get some pretty good pass through anyways so it's last uh, last Saturday night we'll, we'll hunt in the morning um, do some drives in the morning if nothing happens we usually do before we blow town but hopefully we'll somebody will get lucky tonight So last morning, we're heading back out. We haven't seen a lot this year. Um, what we've seen, um, didn't either get real good shots at them or uh, there were a lot of fawns. So, you know, morale's a little low right now, but uh, um, we've done this on plenty of years and, and there have been plenty of years that, uh, you know, we've been empty handed until the last morning. And uh, maybe the last drive of the last day is when everything happened. So, you know, it's always a possibility. Um, and, uh, but overall, we've, we've had a good time. The weather's been pretty good. Um, it's pretty country, and uh, I think everyone's had a good time. So fingers crossed for this morning, and uh, at least somebody will get uh, one deer to go home with. All right, we're about to do a drive behind the barn, and uh, Q 
few looked around across the road and saw three deer south of the other barn the piece we just uh, drove and they were coming out of the grass swale so we're going back over uh, Gary's gonna swoop around down south Hugh's on the west side of the creek I'm on the east and Eric is heading over to the north tip of the big pond and he can cover both of those routes now if the deer went south once they hit the tree line were or SOL but if they headed north they'll in between they'll be in between the three of us and Gary so fingers crossed thinks he got one up by the pond um, the rest of them are in the woods um, in between me and Eric and they must have bedded down because nobody's run up by me so I'm gonna sit here and Eric's gonna head into the wood line and head towards me and see if we can push him up this way Sure did. I'm pretty sure I hit that one on one point, though. Cool. All right. Well, that was exciting, man. There was some shooting. Too bad it all wasn't on the video. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, Eric thinks he has his dough balled up. So we're going to go see what's going on. All right, well, Eric ended up getting one, and uh, so it was a decent doe, uh, nothing that was uh, very photogenic uh, or photo-worthy that we could uh, feel we could, we could uh, present, but uh, um, we got one. Uh, we've had worse years. We've been skunked uh, other years. We've, we've done much better, so this was definitely a humbling year uh, for us, but uh, it was fun. We had a good time. Uh, always great to be in the outdoors and, and get to see new things, things you don't see that, you know, if you're not out there. Uh, when the sun comes up and the sun goes down, you know, uh, whether it's just sunsets and sunrises or, or other animals in their habitat and the things that they're doing. So uh, we're always very appreciative for that. So great memories made. Uh, we're going to try to get out for another, you know, hunt or two here and there before the end of the season. If we can, maybe the late season in January, uh, try to get some meat in the freezer or, or, you know, maybe some bow hunts here uh, before the end of the year. Uh, but uh, we'll see what happens. Keep our fingers crossed. Thanks for joining us. We, uh, we really appreciate it. Uh, and all your support so please uh, please like and share if you can uh, and tell your friends to subscribe um, you everyone have a merry merry christmas uh happy new years um or uh, whatever holiday that you you celebrate um may be joyful and uh, and a healthy and happy one for you and your family so may your ventures continue stay safe and we'll see you around take care